All right, well, hi. Um, here's my little reflection video about our service learning project. Um, I have the questions pulled up here, and I'm just going to run through them, answer them the best I can. Um, so, also, sorry, I'm still sick, so if I start sniffing a lot, I'm not going to know. So, sorry in advance. Um, okay, so how did the things you imagined before going into each experience compare with the actual experience? So, um, you know, I... I didn't really know what to expect going into it because, you know, I've never taught in a, in a situation like this. Um, I've taught sixth graders before, but it was in a different setting. It wasn't general music. It was, like, specific to trumpet. Um, so I was really excited to have this opportunity. Um, it's something I've never done before, and I was a little nervous because I didn't, I don't know, I still don't know. Um, how they're going to react every day we go in, um, and how they're going to participate, and how it's going to go. But it's a really fun opportunity to be able to do this, and to be able to see a difference being made already is really, really cool. Um, what is the most exciting thing that has happened in each experience? So, I've only been twice so far, because I wasn't here last Friday. Um, so I don't know how that all went exactly. But what the the thing I could tell you first of all, um, the first day was really us observing, um, and just watching the kids and getting a feel for the room, and then the second day when we actually got to um, teach them and interact with the kids more, um, that was one of the best days of the semester I've had so far, and it was just day one, um, seeing. You know, some of the kids weren't being as responsive as they were the week before, and some kids, it was a tough day for their, um, the class in general. They had just, it was a crazy day, they just had a fire drill and everything. Um, <clears throat> but we, the, the reactions that the kids were having to some of the things, and we, we played wagon wheel for them, and we danced and everything, and it was so, just the atmosphere in the room was so different. And it was so positive and so great and everything. And I couldn't help just smiling and realizing that these kids, like, even though it was day one, these kids are really going to make a difference in my life this semester. So that was really, really great. Um, what have you learned about these students? Uh, so like I said, I've only, I haven't even taught yet. Because um, we, we split our group into three, like, three pairs. And we're going into week three of teaching right now. So I haven't gone yet. But just being in the room with the kids. And um, when we were dancing, you know, one of the boys came over by the the group that I was, or not the, really the group, but the, the few girls that were standing over here. He came over and danced with us. And um, just seeing the kids look at us and the, the answers we get and the responsiveness that they do give and everything. Um, it's really cool because... Sometimes we go into situations like this thinking a certain thing, but you can't really do that um, with these kids. You know, like, we're with the classroom we're in, nobody really knows what's going to work and what's not. It's super experimental, and um, it's, it's cool to learn something new every day. Um, learn who, you know, who is a leader in the situation in the classroom and who likes to follow along and who, you know, might not be on that day. It's it's a total toss-up, but, you know, learning more about each kid um, every day, every day we go in, is really, really, um, it's a really fun opportunity to, to have. Um, at what times have you been in a leadership role and what did you learn? Okay, so like I said... I haven't taught yet, so leadership role in a sense. I haven't really done that yet. I haven't led anything yet. Um, so more on that next time because I'll be teaching tomorrow. But I'm excited if that counts. Um, consider how you are growing in your identity as a music teacher and what challenges you still... Okay, so this one um, is exciting because even though I haven't taught yet, I can already tell that there's things that I struggle with as a music teacher. Um, this whole experience is interesting for me because I know for a fact I don't want to teach elementary music. Um, it just, it doesn't, 
it doesn't appeal to me as a teacher and it's it's very useful but it's not what I want to do okay. yeah there's not like I know that this isn't what I want to do in the end you know I want to be a high school I want to be a high school band director I want to do the do all that but this experience in itself forces me to go outside of my comfort zone and do things and teach things in a way that you know I might not use you know sitting on the floor and singing songs I'm not going to use that with a high school level um but it's important to know that you know not everyone learns the same and there's different ways to teach music and there's different ways to go about things and even if it's not what I did or what I am used to you know that opens up it might not directly translate but that opens up you know my thinking to different avenues of thinking for older students so like thinking of different ways to to help my ensemble I guess and like adapting to each student it's just it's going to be a really interesting semester I think since you know this isn't this isn't the part of music that I absolutely love to do but you know I'm here and I'm going to do it I'm going to do it to the best of my ability and I'm really excited to go through all of this with these kids too um yeah um in what ways are you assessing the learning you hope they will attain during each oh got it okay <laughs> um so talking to the the classroom and the group in general uh, the biggest thing that's cool to see is the improvement week to week um just you know maybe one kid sings one more word or one kid decides to sit there the whole time and we were talking and what's cool is we're coming in and this is some kids like sec second year in the program or something like that we didn't see them two years ago so we don't have the background knowledge of like the kids who you know wouldn't even participate who are now sitting at the table for half the time you know not even the full time but they'll they'll sit there and they'll try to do things or the kids who wouldn't wouldn't say anything or wouldn't respond to anything and now they'll like acknowledge like they see something and they they know what it is or they they try to do something and it's just you know it's you don't even have to have that background experience it's just really really cool to see or to to know where these kids started and where they are now and i think it's really easy to forget that sometimes that um you know, you don't know this kid in, like, in full. You don't know their full experience. And just trying to remove yourself from your current situation and remembering, like, I think that's why going back to what made me, what was so exciting so far and just seeing the kids do everything, like, I, since I wasn't teaching, I wasn't leading, I was just there to experience it. I could easily remove myself and just kind of look around and see what was going on and it was a really really special moment um to see these kids dancing and doing things and like especially some of the kids dancing they weren't necessarily participating that much before when we were singing the songs but they were they would get up and move with the with the music and they would they would smile and like do things with us and look at us and try to interact with us a little bit or their aides or whoever it was and that was just it's just really cool to see you know activity activity week to week from before we knew before we ever met these kids to now it's it's just really cool to see that improvement and that the increased participation every time we come in um and i'm i'm just really excited to see that keep um keep growing and grow differently with every kid that's in the room uh, um, I think that's all of the questions to answer but I'll just kind of do a little wrap up I guess um, <coughs> yeah I'm just this opportunity is really really cool and I've been talking to some of my friends who have either graduated from other um, music ed programs or are in music ed programs right now or even education programs um, in different states different schools and um, this opportunity is something that 
you know, not, not everybody gets this opportunity. Um, I think we all know that, but it's, it's cool to remember that, you know, that we're, we're here and we get this opportunity with some really talented people to go make a difference. And I think, I think sometimes we forget that, you know, music and teaching isn't, you know, teaching isn't really a performance. And this, the school is on a, it's a performance based school. It's based around, you know, Western music and performing and being, it's an amazing school. And it's, that's just a fact. But I think sometimes it's really easy to get away from the, the idea that, you know, teaching isn't performance. It's not go out there and nail it every time, you know, you're gonna, you're going to fail. It's going, something's going to go wrong. It's not going to be perfect every time you go out. Um, and maybe that's not even because you planned something wrong or something. It's just the kids don't respond the way you, I, I think they will. And you have to figure it out from there. But that's the, the whole, what I'm getting at with this is that teaching is such a selfless thing. And sometimes we can be so selfish with music that you know I need to nail this and I need to do this and I need to do this but it's really this opportunity is so cool because it's really all for these students it's not it's uh, of course we're getting the experience but I'm not approaching this as oh I need to go teach these kids this song because I need to know how to do this song perfectly and perform it and rar you know like I'm going to go teach these kids music because it made a difference in my life and I want to make a difference in theirs. Um, so that's, that's like my big thought, I guess, on this whole thing. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see, you know, what everyone else thinks and excited to hear what everyone thinks about this. So yeah, that's what I've got for today. And, um, I, I really like this vlog thing. I've never done one before, so <laughs> I think I'm going to try to update it pretty often um, based around the assignments and just if something you know interesting happens one day, maybe I'll post a video about it. But yeah, all right, bye.